If you have a Mac or iPhone, you have definitely dealt with HEIC photos, and you probably want to convert HEIC photos to JPEG uh, using just your phone or just your Mac and not some weird third-party site. Well, you can actually do that. So your Mac and your phone both have the power to convert HEIC to JPEG. You just have to maybe create a little shortcut for it, which I've done for you. There's a link in the description down below. It'll add a button to your phone that allows you to convert HEIC to JPEG. Super easy. Also works on Mac. It's actually just a shortcut from Apple Shortcuts. So if I go into my photos here, and if you click on a photo, or actually I'm selecting one right now, so if I just tap on one here and open it up and you kind of uh, swipe down on it or click on the eye, and it shows it's an HEIF photo, which is like that HEIC file type. So if you try to upload this as a profile picture somewhere, it's going to say, nope, you can't use that. Please upload a JPEG or something similar. With this shortcut, you can actually just click on the share button and there's a convert HEIC to JPEG button right here. And so you can just click on that and convert this one or select multiple. You can also go out of this and back to your photos and click that select button to select as many photos as you want to then hit the share button and convert from HEIC to JPEG. It works in the photos app. It also works in the files app and it works on your Mac. It's all the same shortcut. So when we have our photos selected, we can just click that convert button. And it's going to come up here and convert those to JPEG and ask you, where do you want to save these things? So you can save them to your photos. You can create a new album, save it to your files, or you can go back to the share tab that we had before. But this time you have your converted JPEGs. So you can take those and send them in an email or share them with someone or upload them to some other site or file storage or Instagram or anything like that that you want to. And so if you just wanted to convert these and save them back to photos, I could click on that first save to photos button and then save it to my recents or save it in a specific folder or album, I suppose, that I already have created. Then Apple's going to say, do you want to allow that shortcut to do certain things? Uh, you can allow this one time or you can actually say always allow and then this won't pop up anymore if you want to you know, use this and not have to go through this menu. And so we can click always allow and then it's going to convert those and then save them in here. When you download the shortcut, it actually will save it to your downloads folder and your files. And so when we go into files and maybe we're back on this page, maybe you even have all these toggled down inside of locations will be on my iPhone. This is everyone's iPhone, by the way. So on my iPhone. And then when you click on my iPhone, there's a folder called downloads inside of there. You'll see the shortcut that you've downloaded and you can actually just click on this once and it will add it to your shortcuts. It'll take you over to the shortcuts app. And so convert HEIC to JPEG is the download that you'll get in the link in the description or the top comment down below. Now this also works on Mac, which is awesome. So if your shortcuts are shared through iCloud on your Mac and iPhone, you just have to do it in one spot. It'll show up on your Mac, it'll show up on your iPhone. Uh, but if they're not shared or you don't really know what that means, you can just download it to both and install it by basically just clicking on it or double clicking on it. And it will allow you to add that shortcut to uh, Mac and your iPhone, either or. And so the way that it works on Mac, we're just going to exit out of the phone. I don't think we need that anymore. Uh, we're going to go over here and we're going to open up this uh, HEIC folder. So I just got a couple of those photos in here that are HEIC. The way that this shortcut works on Mac is, I mean, you can do it to one, um, one image if you want to, or you can hold shift, select multiple, hold the command key. You can actually select individuals and kind of add them together. But once you have whatever selection you want, you just right click on that and then go down to quick actions and you'll see convert HEIC to JPEG right here. And it'll take you through the same type of menu system, just a little bit geared toward the Mac. So you have save to current folder. You also have save to photos if you want or save to computer, which just means you can choose where you want it to be saved. And so save to current folder is an easy one where it's just going to basically save those JPEG conversions right where those files were. And so you can see here, now we have HEIC originally, and now we have a little JPEG file as well. Now, if you want this to be a .jpg, all you have to do is kind of click on the file name and then 
click in here and then just delete the E. Um, Mac, basically, their standard system is to save it as a JPEG, JPEG, but sometimes those don't work on certain things. And you can actually just rename it to JPG. It's the same exact file type. The renaming doesn't matter. And then if you actually click on multiple and right click and then go to rename, it should allow you to rename each. Yeah. So you can basically replace text within the name of all of the files. So if you want to say uh, find JPEG and replace it with JPG, you can do that pretty easily and then rename all of those really quickly. So if that's something that's an issue for you. You can actually do that really easily here on a Mac. Um, a couple of things. So we, when we go back to our shortcuts on Mac, we can see this shortcut. And so this is the shortcut pulled up when you click on like the three dots and pull it up. Um, on the right hand side, we have a little eye icon. And this shortcut is set to show in the share sheet, which means you get that button on your iPhone. And then it's also uh, able to be used as a quick action in your finder window or services menu, etc. And so that's what allows you to use it by right clicking and going to quick actions. Now, it may not show up initially in this little window here. And so to customize that, we just click on the customize button the first time that you use it, and it will ask you, hey, are there any shortcuts that you want to add to this quick actions menu, of which you can just select convert HEIC to JPEG pretty easily. Same thing with your iPhone and the share sheet. It'll actually show up, and let's see if we can get back into the iPhone really quick. It'll actually show up not um, at the top of your share sheet. So that button um, placement that I showed you, when we go to photos and we take a photo and then we go to share and you see the button right here, it won't show up at the top, it'll show up at the bottom. But to make it appear at the top or any of these appear at the top, you just go down to the bottom and click edit actions and the top will be your favorites. And so whatever you want, to be in your favorites or don't want, you can subtract like this and remove it from your favorites. You can look through all your actions, hit the plus icon, and that will add it to your favorites. So that puts the button at the top of the list. And then we hit done. And now that's gonna be at the top of our list here. So yeah, we can select any photos that we want. It'll convert it from HSC to JPEG. It'll keep the original quality. It'll keep the metadata, the name of the photo, you can then share it, save it, you know, here. If you don't want to double up on your space, you can actually, maybe I can uh, go through and select one of these or select as many as you want, but then go to convert it. And like I showed you before, you can click on share again. And so that will take the conversion and then allow you to basically convert to JPEG and then share it however you want or send it to like Google Drive or something. Maybe you don't want to double up your phone storage space, um, and I'm gonna click always allow again. Maybe you don't wanna double up your phone storage space, but you do wanna take you know, this conversion and then airdrop it to your Mac or something. You could do that now because what we have is the JPEG image down here or up here, uh, or JPEG images if we have multiple photos that we're converting, and then we can just airdrop them to our Mac, or we can use any of the connected apps here, throw them into Canva, send them in a Gmail message, whatever you want, or any of the other um, options down here in the share sheet. Or if you realize that that's not what you wanted, you can just exit out and it won't really do anything, right? Uh, so there you go. That's And it doesn't double up and then share it. It just converts it and then allows you to share it. Um, that is uh converting heic to jpeg uh this little shortcut that i made once again there's a link in the description in the top comment uh appreciate anyone's support and then when you download it you can actually share it with anyone as well so if you're familiar with sharing shortcuts um, there's nothing stopping you from doing that there's nothing stopping you from editing the shortcut and making changes to it thanks for watching thanks for your support and uh i hope you enjoy the shortcut